Mistress Nightingale, what a pleasure to see you again. You look radiant. <laughs> Marquis, it's been far too long. How's your family in Valchevin? No complaints, my dear, no complaints. You must come to the chateau to see the girls. They will be overjoyed. Oh, I've missed them very much. Little Sylvie must be ten now, no? Eleven. And already up to my elbow. Oh, how they grow. Perhaps I shall call on you soon. Excellent. Now I must dance with the dowager. It was lovely to see you, my dear. <sighs> smile, Commander. You're so handsome when you smile. He is just as handsome when he doesn't. You must dance with me, Commander. You cannot stand about all evening. I'm afraid not. Thank you. Did you just grab my bottom? <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Can I get you a drink, Commander Cullen? No, thank you. Are you married, Commander? Not yet, but I am already taken. I'm married to my work. Still single, then? Do you enjoy music, Commander? Everyone enjoys music, madam. Commander, has anyone ever told you that you have the most remarkable eyes? Several times this evening, actually. I would love to hear about your time in Kirkwall, Commander. Another time, perhaps. You have such beautiful hair, Commander. Thank you. Lord Varric, when shall we expect the next volume of Hard in Hightown? You must tell me, Lord Varric. Will Myra and Carter wind up together? Master Tethrus, your last volume of Swords and Shields raised more questions than it answered. Lord Varric, you must give me your opinion on the books of Lady Chastain. I so look forward to your next serial. How many volumes do you think it will be? Master Tethrus, I found some factual inconsistencies in your last book and I've prepared some notes on the subject. How will you address the continuity errors in Hardin Hightown? Will you retract the entire print run? You must write a new serial when this is over, featuring Don and running his tavern on the coast. Lord Varric, I brought a few things for you to sign. Now where has that servant gone? Do you have another volume about Hawk in the works? Why does your book about the champion say so little about Prince Sebastian Vell? You should write a book that takes place in Orlais, Lord Varric. It would be marvellous. Is that the Inquisitor? An ox? Impossible. That's not the Inquisitor. It's just somebody's pet. An elf savage? Oh, make a forbid. This is Gaspard's idea of a joke. Don't be an idiot. How could the herald of Andraste be a dwarf? Maybe it's just a servant. A mage? No, there must be some mistake. From the Circle of Ostwick, so they say. What? A martyr? Don't be absurd. One of the Trevelyans, I've heard. What is Lady Pentecost wearing? Lady Nightingale makes me nervous. So, Gaspard brings a bull to the party. Fitting. Since when is Gaspard any friend of the Dalish? A little crass of Gaspard to bring his carter smuggler to a ball. What was Gaspard thinking, inviting that fool? Perhaps he thought the Inquisitor would make him look clever by comparison. If he prays very hard, perhaps Andraste will send him a better ally. Is that the Inquisitor? Where is he going? He wouldn't dare climb that trellis, would he? In every Orlesian romance, someone climbs a trellis. Admit it. You were thinking of doing the same. Whatever I might have thought, I wouldn't have done it. I told you we should have won the silver brocades. Make us pray. We look like every other fool here. Would you calm down? You look magnificent. Did I see you talking to Duke Cyril de Montfort? I was merely being polite. Unlike some people. Don't give me that. I've seen the way he looks at you. I cannot believe you danced four times with Cyril de Montfort. I cannot believe you did not dance at all. You spent the entire evening drinking port and glaring like a Ferelden turnip. We should have stayed at home. This was such a mistake. I am not talking to you until we get home. Fine by me. Laurent was the love of my life. You remember my husband? Poor darling. Killed in the war with Ferelden. 
I still remember the day they came to tell me that my second husband, Philippe, was thrown from his horse. When my third husband, Pierre, lost his life to Rosalia, I swore off marriage forever. Maximilian swept me off my feet. It was such a scandal, a fourth marriage to a man almost half my age. My dear Maximilian, it took four chevaliers to hunt down the bear that killed him. Poor sweet Gérard. My fifth husband fell to his death from the bell tower of the Grand Cathedral. To this day, no one knows why he was up there. You were acquainted with my darling Hervé, weren't you? I still cannot believe he was allergic to bees. We should never have put in that rose garden. They are such drab flowers. I told my seventh husband, Renard, never drink aqua elucidius on an empty stomach. Three glasses poisoned him, but at least he died at Chateau N. Then my eighth husband, Nazaire, tragically crushed by a cartload of fine handbags. I'm still in mourning for my beloved Etienne. No one has ever seen such a violent tailoring accident. But enough talk of the past. Shall we dance? Who was that Inquisition officer over there? You'll never get to talk to him. He wouldn't even dance with the Comtesse d'Argent. I'm so glad Maman did not want to attend. She always ruins everything. Not as much as you do. Ah, there's the Dowager. Don't make eye contact. She wouldn't want to speak with a nobody like you anyway. Cow. Is that the Inquisitor? He's not very good-looking, is he, poor man? Is that the Inquisitor? Do you think she's pretty?